<sighs> Why are you so bugged, Eve? I told you to get out of the pool, not swim through the sand. Why does this happen? This is Charity, and welcome back to Westfall Stories, a Sims 4 series about a challenge I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. Now we rejoin Eve Westfall as she's trying to have as many children as possible, but unfortunately her husband has died. And we had two birthdays. So Cleo is now a teenager, and so is Ashley. So we will have to move them out of the house. And then I think we had two cat birthdays as well. Honey is now an elder and Bo is now an elder. Oh, and we have a sick cat. Oh, don't worry about the cats because even though we have elders, I think the oldest elder still has some time. So we will not have any cat deaths this week. Now the goals that Eve has left is she needs to raise an heir. So she also needs to pay off her debt. So she has a little bit of debt left. And then we also have her fame situation. Now I'm pretty sure that she is gonna have a hard time getting all the way to Global Superstar. Well, do you like Smash Lemon, Jackson? Oh no, he doesn't like it. Unfortunately, that's all I have. I also have basil and sage, and I also have fruit salad, which he can't eat it, but what I'm doing is I'm just substituting things. So if we look at the menu, smashed lemon is actually on there. So what I do is I take a lemon out of my refrigerator and I destroy it since I'm on a simple living lot. So what should we use for the basil and the herbs? I don't think anything really fits. I guess we could use it as peas since it's like a uh, vegetable. Hopefully he likes peas because that's all I have. Okay, yes, he likes peas, good. At least I have one food that you like. But now we need to put you to bed. Oh, look, it's the flower bunny. Why don't the kids have a spring day? Only Eve does for some reason? That is very strange. Okay, I have a ton of flowers left by the flower bunny, but unfortunately none of the children can harvest right now, so they really don't help me too much. I don't know if he can learn to reach or grab with the high chair, but he can learn it with the play mat but I don't have one, unfortunately. Okay, what milestone is Jackson going to get right now? You can never tell. Did you grab something? Yes, he grabbed his foot. Okay, but he's not having any fun. Okay, why do the toddlers have a spring festival holiday, but not the children? That is strange. Oh, Cody is an adult cat, so the kittens are finally growing up. And Maya is an adult. Good. I don't know what's fun. I mean, I bounced him. What else could be fun? Maybe reading a book? Oh, the doctor set gets the mental skill. I completely forgot about that. I was trying to figure out a way to get the kids mental skill. Okay, the blocks are fun. So I just have to have them play with toys. The problem is I don't really have any infant toys. I just have these toddler ones. Now, since Eve's husband is dead and we have no way of reconnecting with him. I don't think Eve wants to get remarried, but she does want more children. So we can either have science babies or do adoptions. And I'm thinking science babies are better for Eve, but instead of having her go off to a rabbit hole, what we might do is just use cheats to get her pregnant and then spend a thousand simoleons. But the thing is that I really need to pay off the debt first. So I think we have 15,000 simoleons left of the debt and we just paid our bills for this week. So that's why the total went down a little bit. But it looks like people are actually buying things. Good. I mean, 
It seems random, but every once in a while, the selling table just doesn't sell anything. No one buys a thing it, during the entire yard sale, and I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to be related to the price markup. It just seems to be random. Oh, and we're getting some earthquake or maybe some volcano action. Uh, I guess it was just an earthquake. Okay, she's putting him down. Why? Oh, he's reaching a milestone. Okay, it must be a milestone that he needs to lay down for. Maybe put toe in mouth. No, go here. Go back over there. Okay, you can watch the milestone from over there. All right, so he has to put his toe in his mouth, I guess, before he can do pincer grasp. Sure. Oh, we should probably change his diaper first. Pick him up, come on, and then change his diaper. Oh no, there goes another earthquake. Come on, I don't need that. Sometimes they don't happen very often, and sometimes it seems like it's every other time. Okay, Jackson has pincer grasp. So now we have most of the milestones that we need. Now, both of the infants and the toddlers are about to age up. So it's going to be Alexander, Marley, Jackson, and Skylar's birthday. So I think what we might do is go ahead and age up the infants. They have most of the milestones, or at least Jackson does. I think he can't stand. That's the only one that we might try to get. So if we can get that one, he has all of the ones that I would want him to get before he ages up. And the reason why I'm trying to do that with him is because he is actually the next heir. I haven't actually decided which milestones we're going to do for this challenge, but I think it's reasonable that they have all of the same ones that I require for my 100 baby challenge, which is that they can stand, they can babble, and they have pincer grasp. I think we're going to go ahead and age Skylar up because she keeps annoying me because she's talking with Jackson. So she's not the heir. We can just go ahead and age her up anyway since it's her birthday. All right, Jackson, come on. Let's learn how to stand. I'm pretty sure he can stand up on the double beds, but for some reason he's just not doing it. Okay, come on, Jackson. I know you have all of the milestones that you need in order to get the stand milestone, but he's just not doing it. Of course, we're blowing raspberries like crazy. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to stand up. I don't know. Maybe it's just that he can't pull up on the beds. Okay, that must have been it. For some reason, he cannot pull up on those double beds. He can definitely pull up on the chair. And he slowly makes his way over to the chair. And we have him reach a milestone after about 10 to 20 seconds. I don't know why this glowing thing has to happen for like forever until they actually do the action okay we've stood up and happy birthday jackson you don't need a cake to age them up when they actually reach their birthday oh you're so cute i love that hair finally we have enough to pay off the debt Difficult? Okay, so Denise is being mean to Eve, and unfortunately that means they now have a difficult family dynamic. Now Jackson, since he's the next heir, is actually going to be a charmer, so I have to potty train him. Well, I guess we have to have a science baby in order to get a random number of children that is based on traits. Unfortunately, when you cheat it in MC Command Center, it just does a completely random number. Oh, and Fabo is an elderly cat. So we don't want a completely random number. We want one that's based on the Leilani trait and the Fertile trait. And Franklin is also an elder. Well, Alexander aged up. Well, happy birthday to Marley. Well, Nacho aged up. Wolfgang Wilder, isn't he a werewolf? I'm not sure we want werewolf babies, but maybe that would be cheaper than getting a science baby. Why is it very awkward? Is there another kid coming out here to talk to us? Okay, he's running off with my trash, I think. I think he was here to collect the trash and now he's leaving. Oh well. Alright, well maybe it does use our traits. Let's just go have a science baby ourselves. 
It's actually 1,200 to have a science baby, not 1,000. It's only 1,000 to adopt. It's a boy, and we're going to name him Chester, although I think one of our cat's names was Chester, so maybe not. Romeo, we've had that name too. Jackson, I don't think we've had a Jackson. I, there's so many cats now, I can't keep track of them, but I'm pretty sure we have not had a Jackson. And another boy, Randolph. We definitely have not had Randolph. Okay, so we did get twins. And now we can fire the nanny because I had to hire one since I have infants or no, actually just toddlers, no infants really. But there's no option to fire her yet. I think it's because she hasn't actually arrived. Maybe I can just make her leave and not have to pay. I have a mod that lets children do basic baby care things, but it seems like they've replaced bounce with entertain. And maybe that's something that they can actually do without the mod. Oh, Grim is here to take one of my chickens. Okay, Grim, are you stuck on the fence? That's what it looks like. Maybe if I reset them, it'll help. I think it's Cuckoo, but the thing is, she's sitting on an egg, and she's not coming out. Sorry, Grim, she's starving, and she just doesn't want to come out. I think you're going to be waiting for her for a long time. In fact, my build mode is not locked out, so... Yeah, okay, here she comes. A blind date? Um, no thanks. Unfortunately, I have children at home. It would have been nice to actually go on that date and figure out who it was, but I'm not really allowed to go with babies. We need to age you guys up first. All right, so we got our one-star celebrity status back. Okay, now we are probably going to focus more on Jackson, Although we do need to get Eve's celebrity level up so that she can meet all of the ancestors. Because some of the ancestors are global superstars and you can't meet them unless you're also a global superstar. Or you have to try to introduce yourself and that doesn't always work. So right now communication is level 5. Uh, potty will get there eventually because he has to potty a lot. Movement is only level 3, thinking is only level 2, and imagination, even though it's only 1, that is going to be the quickest one to raise because that tent is just overpowered. Oh, it is Randolph's and Jackson's birthday, so we can actually age them up now. So happy birthday, Jackson! We are going to be a calm infant. And happy birthday, Randolph. And we are cautious. I don't really see that the infant traits make too big of a difference. But wow, you guys are twins, even matching outfits. So here we are at the nightclub, and we might try to gain a little fame by having some dance battles, but I'm not sure if they really give you that much fame. Now, Yugata is actually Eve's father, and for some reason he didn't know her at all. So we're just trying to get to know him. <sighs> Why are you so bugged, Eve? I told you to get out of the pool, not swim through the sand. Why does this happen? I just cannot get Carissa to accept me for some reason. She just doesn't like me. Alright, that was basically a complete waste of time. So that's the end of another week, and Eve Westfall is on her way to becoming a star. But she has a long ways to go. She only has one star and she needs to have five. And that's the only thing she really needs to do. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.